guys! So first of all, OMG, I'm wearing glasses to film a video. I haven't worn glasses to film a video ever, I don't think. Maybe very, very early on. But basically, I hate wearing my glasses. I have to wear them this week because I'm getting my eyes lasered next week, after which I hopefully will not have to wear glasses again. Um, but it means I have to wear glasses this week. And I'm going to try and film some videos without them, but this one I'm just going to have them on and we'll see how it goes. So today is going to be part two of my kind of US haul. I asked you guys in my previous video if you wanted to see um, these hauls all together or if you wanted separate ones and most of the people said separate. So you're going to have three haul videos in a row. I know that seems excessive. If you don't like haul videos um, then you're going to have to come back next week for some different beauty content. But if you do like haul videos, you got lucky this week. So I'm going to start off with the fashion and bits and bobs. So I've already done my Sephora haul, if you haven't seen that I'll link it at the end. Um, and on Friday I'll be doing my drugstore haul. I'm going to start in the order of which I bought these things. I know that kind of doesn't make sense. Sometimes I feel like I should put the best things at the beginning or save the best things till last. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like doing them in order. So the first thing I didn't actually buy when I was in the States. This is something I bought about a week ago, or about a week before I left. And I wanted to show it to you guys because I'm quite obsessed with it. It's from Topshop and it is this tasseled snake skin clutch. Now I don't normally like snake skin. I really am not a fan of it on clothing, but I really like it in this because I think it's a kind of nice mixture with the suede tasseling, obsessed with tassels right now, um, and a little bit of snake skin on um, the rest of the bags. I quite like snake skin accessories, but yeah, not so much the clothes, but I really like this. I'm actually going to Coachella, oh my god, so excited, um, in April, and I thought this would be like the perfect kind of festival-y vibe. It also has a strap, which I can show you in here. I'm not really a big fan of the strap. It's quite a gaudy gold colour. What I might do is try and steal one of the straps off my Rebecca Minkoff bags, because I have some really nice chain straps on there that I think might just be a little nice, so like this is a bit of a shiny gold, I don't know, I prefer it as a clutch anyway, so um, this was from Topshop and I believe it was about £38, um, so yes, big fan of that. Moving on to stuff that I actually bought whilst I was in the States, the first thing I got is from Urban Outfitters, I very very rarely shop in Urban Outfitters now, I used to um, a few years ago, but now I feel like it's uh, most of the stuff in there is that kind of 90s style, which I love, but not on my figure. So I picked up this dress. I spotted it. It was like right at the front of the shop. I was like, I absolutely love that print. I've been obsessed with the kind of dark florals recently. If you guys um, have seen any of my kind of outfit of the days in the last few weeks, I've been wearing quite a lot of that kind of floral print, but with black as the main colour. I just think it's a nice kind of medium between the girly floral and keeping it a little bit more edgy. So it's a basic... Um, cotton sleeveless dress. Um, it is quite uh, voluminous, so it's quite like shapeless. I would definitely belt this um, unless I was wearing it like on the beach as a beach cover up. I think it's really, really pretty. It has a button up all the way down the front and it has a structured collar. Really nice and it's quite soft. I think this was quite expensive. I find Urban Outfitters to be um, always more expensive than I think it is. It's cheaper in the States. This was $70. So, um, what is that, about 55, 50 pounds? No, less than that, about 45 pounds, something like that. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it in the summer. And like I said, I'm going to Coachella in April and I think I'll definitely be taking that with me. Next, I popped into Forever 21. First thing I got are some sunglasses, which I'm gonna take off the label so you guys can see them better. Basically, I've been thinking about these sunglasses I saw in Burberry for the last like six months. I tweeted a picture of them and loads of people said they hated them. And I know that shouldn't matter, like if I love them, that's all that matters. Um, but it's kind of put me off buying them. So I saw these in Forever 21 for like $5 and they're a similar style. So I thought, you know, if everyone's gonna hate them, maybe I should just get the cheaper ones so that I don't feel so bad about like splashing out the cash or wear these ones and see if I really, really like them then perhaps um, invest in the more expensive ones. Anyway, they look like this. Again, I thought these would be good. Um, for festival wear because I always find at festivals, you can't, now I can't see anything because I've taken my glasses off, so what do they look like? Um, I find at festivals I always like to take um, my cheaper sunglasses just in case I lose them or anything because they're quite an easy thing to lose at things like that if they like fall off your head or whatever. Um, but yeah, so those are from Forever 21 and then I also picked up another kind of spring summery style dress which was from Forever 21 and it is this denim, it's almost like a tie-dye or like a mixed wash denim, it's very very mottled, it's a loose fitting long shirt dress and it has this um, faux suede 
uh, like tie, plaited tie around the waist. And yeah, I have something fairly similar to this that I got from Zara about, it must be almost, almost 10 years old, I think, the one that I have from Zara. And I still wear it, I still really like it, but it's a little bit short. Whereas this, I feel like you can wear this kind of out and about because it hits like just above the knee, whereas the Zara one is really short. So unless it's a really hot summer day or you're going to the beach or, you know, you're on a beach holiday, I usually don't wear it unless I'm wearing it with like leggings or something. Whereas this, I feel like you could wear without leggings and not worry about it being too short. It has the rolled up sleeves. Really like this and it was $32, so around £20. Thought that was a good buy. Um, next up I went to Free People and I don't often buy a lot of things from Free People but I was with my mum and it was the first time she'd ever been in there and she was just so taken by it. She absolutely loved the shop and like everything about it. And they do have it in England now but again, as usual with American brands, it's a lot more expensive in England. So I picked up two things from Free People this time. And the first one, I'm trying to get the straps like straight. The first one is a really loose fitting tank top. I really like this style of straps. It's something that River Island did um, this or last year they brought out and I think they're still doing it as these um, little strappy tops with the extra straps at the front. I think it's a really kind of cute detail. It's a very simple thing to do. But what I like about this one is that it goes over to the, oh, I just dropped a strap, um, is that it goes over to the back as well. So it's like a feature on the back. The front is like a cross crossover style so it's almost is this is this inside out no so it's almost like I don't know just a really like pretty wrap detail and the material is super soft free people is not the cheapest place was 38 so around um, 25 ish pounds but I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it it's a really nice basic and then the next thing I picked up from free people was actually in the sales section I don't normally find a huge amount of stuff in the sales section there um, because a lot of it is just the really bizarre stuff that nobody buys, but I tried this on on a bit of a whim and I actually really, really love it. Again, it's a black kind of jersey strappy top, but it has really beautiful um, triple strap kind of design and a low v-neck front with a kind of attachment and then the back is even lower. I think you'd have to wear either like a bandeau top or a bikini top underneath this because it is quite revealing but it's quite long so I feel like it would look really cute with um, little denim shorts or a little denim skirts and it has a little waist belt as well. I just thought this was really cute. It was reduced from $100 to $50 so around £30 which I think is good. It's got quite a lot of um, embellished details on it which I really really love a lot. Um, yeah so I was really happy with that. I found that in the sale. Then I picked up a couple of workout things from Lululemon. I love Lululemon. Again, they just opened one in the UK, or last summer they opened one in the UK, and it is so expensive. Like, I just wouldn't buy anything from there in the UK. But in the States, I like to kind of get a couple of things when I go over. Um, my other stuff that I've got from there has lasted for years. I've had it for like two years and it still looks brand new. The quality is amazing. Um, so I picked up a couple of things from there. The first are these workout tights. They're not the cropped ones, they're kind of the three quarters. I do have a longer pair from Lululemon, but they tend to be a bit too long because I'm 5'3", so I'm quite short. Not really short, but just a bit short. Um, and yeah, they tend to be a bit long for me, so I like the three quarter ones from there. And I really like these ones because they have the diagonal kind of black style on the back of the calf, which I really like. I'm not sure on the name of these, um, but I got them in a size six, which is a UK 10 really like them, camo style, love those a lot. And then I got this top, which, oh, I, I did leave the tag on this one. This is the Wild Tank. Um, and I got this in the same size. And this one is like business in the front and then like major party in the back. So it has like a built-in sports bra with about a million straps on the back. Um, and then it has the open back. Slightly more revealing than my usual workout clothes, but something about this I just really liked. I actually had a look on the website before I went out to the States, and I had my eyes specifically on one of these, because I just think they're so cute. They look so pretty when they're on. Um, and yeah, I really like the material as well. It's quite a long fit, so the back almost comes down to cover your bum, which I like if you're wearing um, tight tights like this, because it's just a bit more, I don't know, covered up. I uh, probably wouldn't wear these together. I might. might be a bit too much wearing them together. I'd probably wear these with black, um, or the top with black um, bottoms, and then this with like a plain top, probably. But yeah, so I was super happy with those, and I spent ages in Lululemon. I was with my mum. She hates exercise gear and all of that, so she was like super, super bored. The final two things that I picked up were from Nordstrom. 
And the first thing is a bracelet, which I just think this is super, super gorgeous. I love it. It is a gold bangle and it's made with um, wire, so it's slightly flexible, but it has these gold arrowheads. They're almost like, um, I don't know what like ethnicity they would be, but you know, like handmade arrowheads that are made from like slate and stone and stuff. They're in that shape, but they're gold. This was $44, so it was quite expensive. It was from Nordstrom, so they're kind of um, jewellery ranges that they stock generally are a bit more pricey than um, your average high street stuff. I'm not sure on the brand of this, it has like a little tag which looks like it says BB but I don't think it's blah blah blah. I'm going to do a close up of this so you guys can see um, anyway but I really really like it. I'll try and find um, an actual link for it if you guys like it and want to buy it. I'll try and find a link and put it below so you guys actually know like what make it is because um, I'm not sure but I really like it a lot. I think I'll wear this a lot. Um, over the next couple of months. It's quite a summery kind of beachy vibe. Really like it. And then last but not least um, is the kind of splurge item of the trip. It's kind of a naughty purchase. It is from Rebecca Minkoff. I've been obsessed with tassels recently and um, as you guys know I bought that Topshop tassel bag and when I saw this I just absolutely fell in love with it and thought it would be perfect for the summer and I love Rebecca Minkoff bags as well because they're great quality. For the price I think they're probably the best quality bags around that aren't super super expensive um, but it looks like this it's just a very plain black tasseled bag this is actually the front which has the little Rebecca Minkoff plates on it but I think I prefer the other side just the plain one um, like that either way it's a really cute kind of um, crossbody or over the shoulder leather tassel bag it's quite small but what I found with the Rebecca Minkoff bags is that they are deceptively roomy in terms of keeping stuff in them um, this one is a little bit smaller than the Mini Max, so I think it won't be as good on that front. But again, perfect for summer, travelling, definitely going to be taking this to Coachella. Um, yeah, I love it. It actually smells amazing as well. You know when you get something that's really, really beautiful quality leather and it just smells really lovely? Um, yes, super, super happy with that. I think it's going to be a wardrobe staple this year. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing a drugstore beauty haul, um, which will be up this Friday. So go and check that out if you guys want to see what I got from CVS whilst in Dallas. I actually went a bit crazy um, with shopping in general. Hence, there's three hauls from this trip. I need to stop. It's out of control. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys and welcome back. So today I have a big Sephora and a few other kind of beauty and bath bits and bobs haul for you guys. Now as you may be able to tell I'm in a bit of a different background at the moment. I'm actually in Dallas for Beauty Contacts which I'm so